Hey viewers, back it again, doing another weekend project. Today we're going to do something simple, easy, and fixable. We're going to go ahead and change the front brake pads on this 2018 Chevy Traverse. Pretty simple, simple job, guys. Um, you're going to go ahead and first make sure you go ahead and uh, lift up your, uh, your hood. And we're going to go ahead and remove. Well, before we remove, just make sure you clean. Uh, your brake reservoir around it because we're going to go ahead and remove the top and go ahead and put a nice shop rag around it because when we compress the pistons um, whatever brake fluid does leak it doesn't uh, eat up all your that could damage your paint or damage uh, eat up any rubber there so the first thing we're going to do um, this is a uh, brake pads from my, lo my local auto parts store. This is a uh, uh, brake part number. And if you got the one with the hardware, definitely, definitely change your hardware uh, so we can, uh, you know, get this done correctly. And make sure you have a nice, proper set of tools. Uh, from you can definitely go ahead and do this job successfully. So if you're in your home, definitely have this vehicle supported by jack stands never never work uh, under a vehicle if uh, you don't have jack stands uh, properly supporting the vehicle okay so let me go ahead and get this bad boy up in the air and uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, do step by step how to get this uh, uh, changed out for you guys okay here we go guys enjoy the video all right guys so we are going to need a 22 millimeter um, socket to get these bad boys out so go ahead and uh, get these uh, zipped out there or if you don't want to access to uh, impact you can just go ahead and loosen these nuts while the vehicle is on the ground so I'm going to get this uh, done and then we'll continue to the next step guys okay guys so once you uh, remove the tire you're gonna go ahead and expose um, the brake caliper and also the uh, uh, disc brake I'm sorry brake caliper and also the disc and this is a good time to kind of ins inspect your rotor making sure that there's it's not warped this one looks pretty good but if it was warped or in some way you could kind of feel your finger across and you could feel like some bumps uh, definitely resurface your rotor if it's not uh, resurfable then definitely change this one out in this case everything looks good on the rotors so there's no need for us to change that but we will go ahead and change the brake pads uh, in this case we're just gonna pretty pretty simple we're just gonna go ahead and uh, turn uh, just pull the 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 rotor towards you and that way we can kind of I'm gonna give you a better access to what I'm gonna do okay so let me do that real quick Bear with me all right so now that we have this uh, ready to go, I'm going to put a um, catch pan here. I recently changed the oil on this bad boy, but I'm going to use this so that way I can uh, don't make a mess here in my driveway. So all we're going to do, uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, get a 17 millimeter uh, socket. We're just going to go ahead and put it here. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, push this down. Remember, lefty loosey righty tidy okay all right in this case this is pretty tight don't worry about it I'm gonna go ahead and use a little uh, cheater bar I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here and just get that leverage and we're gonna go ahead and break that loose like so there we go once that's broken loose we're gonna go ahead and Alright, so once you broke, broke this one loose, before you remove it, we're going to go ahead and break this other one loose as well. Let me go ahead and get my cheater bar, and we're going to go ahead and, that wasn't too tight. Alright, and the reason why I'm removing them both is because I'm going to go ahead and grease both guide pins, and for that I need to take these two top bolts uh, so that way I can uh, get those nice and grease 
and again that's going to provide a nice smoother braking uh, system um, so I'll tell you I'll show you what that looks like in a, in a minute but just make sure that uh, you do this step otherwise um, you definitely don't want to do this without making sure that your guide pins are properly lubricated so let me go and do that real quick bear with me So once we remove that, we're going to go ahead and hang up, hang this caliper uh, using a, and you don't have to worry about the size, they're the same length, so top and bottom are the same ones, so you don't have to worry about that, but go ahead and use, uh, you can use a bungee cord or uh, in this case I'm using the S-hook uh, brick caliper holder, and I'm just going to go ahead and just get this out like this. And I'm just going to go ahead and hang it from the strut, like so, making sure that uh, we don't put any uh, stress on that brake line. And that's going to go ahead and expose uh, the actual um, uh, brake pads. And again, just make sure that these springs, see how they're facing, you put them back. And also, um, there's this little clip in the back that's telling you you know where it's gonna go and this is where we're gonna go ahead and lubricate as well I'm gonna go ahead and remove this just pull it out like so I'm gonna clean this out and I'm gonna put some new um, brake grease on this and this is a very very crucial uh, part when you do this system a lot of uh, mechanics skip this and they'll just change the brake pads and uh, call it a day but in this case you want to done you want to do something right the first time around uh, that way um, you know you keep your customer happy okay so in this case um, let's go and continue though make sure that you get these clips clips out just put them and you're just gonna go ahead and you can use a flathead screwdriver and we're just gonna go ahead and pry these out like so and this one like so remember this one's gonna be in the inner uh, side of that just take a look at the brake pad make sure everything's okay um, and again good time to spec the rotor and in this case we're gonna go ahead and remove the actual hardware because our new brakes came with uh, new hardware so go ahead and use a flat screwdriver and just pry these bad boys out like so there you go and this is a good time we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna remove these guide pins I'm just gonna keep this gonna be here at the bottom And this is the one for the top. And the top is a little bit bigger. I believe so. I'm just going to keep them there. And this is a good time. I'm going to use some uh, brake cleaner. Get this nice and clean. Like so. And I'm going to go to an extra step. Use a nice wire brush. Depending on uh, what area you live in the uh, United States. This might this might might need to be um, put in the put in the um, sand blaster to get all the rust or any type of uh, gunk in there. But in this case, I'm in sunny California, so as you can see, I don't really need to worry about rust. But if you're in the East Coast, this is definitely you probably know what I'm talking about so I'm just gonna go ahead and just make sure I clean that really nice 
I'm not missing anything. So that way the new hardware could properly be seated. Don't have to worry about And also, good time to uh, clean also this top of the caliper, making sure any dust or rust gets properly see how the, all that's going. And this is a good time to wear a mask. Make sure you don't want to breathe that in as well, because that will definitely harm there for a little bit. Nice and clean. Now, let's go ahead and put this hardware on. All right, here we go. So normally what I like to do, I like to put some of this uh, grease on the bottom, on the top here, on the top of the hardware that's going to be sitting down here so for example this is going to go here so I'm going to put grease on this uh, bottom part that's going to sit here so it's going to be a nice proper glide all right so let me go ahead and uh, do that real quick and I'm just going to put like a nice size decent amount not too much just a uh, enough and again it's the bottom part I'm gonna make sure that uh, it sits properly on here like so and I'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it in and you want to clean any excessive make sure it's not on the rotor in this case everything seated correctly so we're good to go on that okay so let's go and do the same thing for the top so on this one I'm gonna go like this so I'm gonna put here some on this And I'm going to go ahead and just gingerly put this in here like so and just push up. There we go. Make sure it's nice and snug. So when we do put the brake pads, it's going to go ahead and uh, glide nicely. All right. So now that we have that uh, set up, we're going to go ahead and uh, clean these guide bolts. Well, actually, you know what? We can definitely go ahead and put the brake pads on right now as well. No specific order. So let me go ahead and just uh, compare. Make sure these brake pads are the same. Um, always, always compare them. All right. All right, so this one's falling apart already. So this one's good to go. Same length, same size. So we're going to go ahead and install this one. And what I really like to do, I just like to put a little bit of, a little bit, tiny bit of grease on the tips. Very careful not to put any on those, uh, on the pads itself and then we're just going to go ahead and just gingerly uh, I'm going to go ahead and stick this one in first like so and then this one I'm going to go ahead and just slide it in like this so that's already inside inside there and I'm going to do the same one with this one all right so let me go ahead and uh, look for that one and remember this one had a little clip 
inside here. This one has a clip pin here too. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little bit of grease just like I did on the first one. Get a nice uh, slide there. again I'm gonna do the same thing make sure you don't get any of that grease I'm gonna start from here from the bottom and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna be very careful to kind of go inside here and stick it in like so and make sure that that's nice and insert it like so okay so now that we have that let me see if I can get a shop rack to clean my hands. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and get these guide pins. Clean these out. I'm going to freely put some of this uh, grease on this as well. Uh -huh. Not a whole lot, but I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I uh, rub this. But do, you have, yes, do you have a baby? Do I have a baby? No, I don't have a baby. You mean a, a toy baby? I can look for one. Give me a second, okay? okay. All right, you kind of get an idea of how to get this nice and grease. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. And I'm just going to push inward like this. And I'm going to go ahead and install the guide pin. going to push it all the way until it sits flush. And I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and just push this one inside the hole. Clean this up. Apply some freely. And I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I install this one like so and see how nice it's being able to glide freely that's what you want to have a nice glide that's the reason why I removed the brake caliper so that way I can do this uh, step again a lot of people miss this step and sometimes uh, what happens if you don't if these are not properly greased they get hard and then when you brake, um, you're going to get uneven wear on your brake pads. That's why it's highly encouraged to do this step. And it takes about maybe five minutes extra, but believe me, uh, you're not going to be kicking yourself. So now that's uh, uh, nicely um, installed. We're going to go ahead and put these clips oops, uh, like we had them. And these are just going to keep these brake pads nicely So that way they don't spread so let me go ahead and do the other one but you know what before we do that because this is going to be a trick when i try to install the caliper here let me put these back here i want to show you something really quick before i forget there's two ways of compressing these pistons so let me go ahead and uh, get this okay so there's two ways you can compress these pistons if you have access to a nice uh, dual quad uh, spreader you know you could definitely just use this tool 
and spread them both like this but if you don't have access to one of these you could actually use an old you could actually use an old brake pad the one you removed and you could use a C clamp and the way it works This is kind of the setup you would actually use uh, to compress. So you're going to compress this one all the way inside and then you're going to switch it out to the bottom. Like this. You're going to compress that as well. But hopefully you kind of get an idea of how to compress that. But in this case I have the luxury of, and again this is like maybe six bucks at your local store. Uh, not expensive but if you're able to uh, invest in one of these bad boys look how easy this is and it tastes hey buddy you doing okay you doing all right <laughs> let me show you this in action so that we can kind of see how easy this looks and it takes about five seconds and then you're just gonna slowly compress this look how the pistons evenly go inside make sure that when you're doing this you're also keeping a track of the inner shield I mean the inner in the inner sealed making sure that it's going in smoothly if it doesn't you're gonna have to use a pick to make sure that it goes in properly or you could use a flathead screwdriver you definitely want to make sure that these get properly uh, compressed as well sometimes they get air uh, when you uh, put in the piston so it's very important that you push these evenly inside so that way they don't rip or the piston doesn't um, rip them as you're going inside Again, take your time when you do this, and if you have to, um, get a pick and go ahead and uh, do that. So in this case, everything looks good. I'm compressing it, as you can see, pushing it slowly. Take your time. It's gonna go all the way inside. There you go. See that? Now, once the once you can no longer go you're good to go and I'm just gonna go ahead and push this button and uh, get this out of the way so this is what I'm talking about we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna use a pick I'm gonna make sure that see how nice and seated that seal is I'm gonna make sure that this is the case here you got some air holding on to that then I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I take it out before I put the, the brakes and again all you do is just make sure that you gingerly push this inwards and the air is going to go ahead and kind of get out of the way but I'm going to go ahead and get a pick so I can get it in there okay so don't forget to do that part and then uh, once you have this nicely compressed what I'm going to do I'm going to come back here and I'm going to put a little bit of a uh, grease here on the to get a nice quiet smooth ride on the shims itself also on this part like so and again this is just the the backing of the shims once I get that in there I'm gonna put these bad boys and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue so I'm gonna do that real quick and I want to show you guys again how to at these seals you can use a pick and just kind of open these seals a little bit so that way they can go in back um, a little bit just allow some of that movement air to pass through and that should uh, get these seals nice where they have to be so that way they don't bite on the new brake okay and again this is something that uh, definitely definitely encourage you to do um, 
and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of uh, grease here on this side, this side, this side, just a little bit on the on the piston so that way we can get a, a quieter ride as well. Also some here. Just a tiny bit, not a whole lot. So let's go ahead and do the final step. We're going to go ahead and put these clips and then we're going to go ahead and put the uh, caliper back and uh, we should be good to go. So let me go do that real quick. Alright guys, so just get these uh, clips, put them on these uh, holes appropriately on the brakes. Get the other one, this one here and this is just to keep these uh, brake pads where they need to be, like so. And then once we have that, we're going to go ahead and put this in here. So let me gonna do that real quick. Let me use two hands. Alright guys, so I'm just going to get this caliper and place it gingerly back in here. So I'm going to do that real quick. like so and also you see this uh, little I want to say key it's going to key into this top part and I'm going to go ahead and uh, install my first bolt in here like so And then I'm going to go ahead and get my second and make sure that when you put this, this little guide pin, it's actually corresponding to the actual caliper here. And it should sit properly like so. See that? And then you're going to go ahead and just put this in here like so. And we're going to go ahead and torque this. And this should definitely go ahead and... Uh, uh, I'm going to put the torques right here according to the service manual but just make sure that you don't forget to make sure that this is here uh, right where it needs to be and we're going to go ahead and get this uh, tying up and we're going to torque this appropriately alright and this one as well so once you finish this process and you can do the other side as well don't forget uh, to uh, start your vehicle and also don't forget to press on the brake pedal a couple times so that way uh, the brake pads could uh, adjust themselves and uh, you should be good to go so guys if this video helped you out thumbs up subscribe any comment please let me know thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video have a beautiful rest of your day take care guys until next time